Have you ever wondered how a bird sounds the way it does? Or how crickets chirp at night? Could their genes play a role in how they sound? Hi everyone, my name is Kara and I'm a molecular biologist. I study the genes and molecules inside of cells. Genes are like little instruction manuals, and genetics is the science of how those instructions get passed down through generations. Today, I'll talk to you about my project on the genetics of animal sounds. This is my side journey, and you'll notice that it is not linear. Science usually isn't. For example, during the pandemic, I couldn't go into lab and I couldn't run experiments, so I had to use data that other researchers had previously collected. And I focused on listening to a sound that I had heard every night throughout my childhood. The sound of the coqui frog. The coqui frogs are a group of frogs native to my homeland of Puerto Rico, and they make this famous coqui sound. Other scientists had recorded their calls and shared them online. When I listened, I noticed that different coqui species had different calls, similar but not the same. That got me thinking. If coqui species are related, could those with more similar genes also sound more alike? Now genes often shape the way we look. So I hypothesized that coqui species with closer genes could also have more similar sounds. But before testing my hypothesis, I had to share with others. I was not a Goki expert, so I asked other scientists for help. They gave me feedback, which helped make my plants stronger. Then, I analyzed audio recordings of five different Goki species. I measured the duration of their calls, how long each syllable lasts, and the frequency, how high or how low the pitch was. Then, I compared these patterns to a genetic family tree, showing how closely related the species were. My results suggested that coquis that are genetically closer often had more similar sounds. Then, I communicated my results. I gave virtual talks in Puerto Rican classrooms so that kids could learn the science behind the coquis sound. Scientists can present their results at conferences, like me here. But you can also present science in fun ways, like in the classroom or out in the community, so that everyone can learn the science behind everyday things. In the end, I learned more about the sounds of my island and how genes may shape them. This work was supported by the National Science Foundation, and I hope that future scientists like you keep asking questions about the world around us.